use the stand instead of the table again you can create same thing here different types of tables here by using new option you can create new stool by using new option you can create new style or otherwise you can modify the existing style just modify same thing first you can see the general setting again table direction is always you can prefer down direction again i am going to change this to up direction up direction means now see here what happened here bottom is the title next one is the header file then next one is the data just i am going to change this to down title header files bottom one is the data again you can see the general settings now fill color just i am going to specify red color the fill the fill color is red color again alignment is alignment is nothing but placing of the text text i am always prefer top center again format general format text format then cell this is the nothing but data again margins again you can specify the length just see here 2.5 okay just this is about the general table properties again text properties style is the standard again text height changes to 2 again text color changes to yellow color and again text angle changes to 45 degrees okay again modify again you can see the borders just wait first you can check up to this one search current okay then again i am going to design text the text color is the yellow color now see here again you can change in in this place also now my current setting is the yellow color again changes to Again, see here. Again, you can specify text angle also. Okay. Again, you can edit this one. Same thing. Double click and edit the. Double click and edit the text. Okay. Then again, you can see the. Format. Table style. Modify. Just general setting. General fill color changes to none. Then text color okay. borders again you can see the borders here okay now after selecting this one again color of the okay red color just you can activate the double line then again you can specify the borders now this is the borders all borders first one is the all borders again this is the only boundary just you can represent table double lines with respect to only boundaries just i'm going to select this one now check the preview here okay set current flow different types of borders here then again modify changes to only only inside the borders different difference only bottom only left side top and right again this is the no border just i'm going to select this one means no border now select this one again the border color is the red color just okay set current flow now this is our standard style again design one table the table directly with the standard setting with the standard style that is about the table style. just like command is the ts table style command is ts command is ts Just add one point. You can create new table. You can create new style or modify the existing style. You can create new style. You can create new style or you can modify the existing style. Now I am going to just modify the existing style. Just modify the existing style. Set all the requirements. like general text border settings set all the required settings like general text border like general text border like general text border like general text border 
Okay. Okay. Just okay. Set current. Close. Set current. Close. Set current. Close. That is about the table style. The next one. Multi-layer style. Where we can use multi-layer? Just a representation of multiple diamonds. Now MLD command is MLD enter. Now specify the arrowhead. Now this is the standard style. Now this is the standard style. Standard style of the multi-layer. Just now I'm going to enter MLD. What happened? I can have three methods. Okay. Directly I'm going to choose the now this is the default method. Arrowhead first, landing location, then type. Now on default style is the straight. Default style is the straight. Again you can change straight to spline. Again you can select the options. Again you can change the internal command. That is a long process. For again same thing by using multi layer style. Again create new thing or modify. Again modify. First one is the later format. Type is the Stride, spline, or non operation. Stride, spline, non operation. Now see here. Now the current one is the stride. Now I am going to set spline. Okay. Again, color changes to color of the MLD. Next one, line type, line weight. Again, arrow mark. Dot, dot representation, or you can choose any one of them. Again, size of the arrow. Okay. Then next, uh, break size. Nothing but gap in here. Okay. Now changes to this one too. Mm, previous one is the four. Just that is about the general properties. Then next one is the ladder structure. Again, you can see internal command maximum points. What is the use of the maximum points? Now the default maximum number of points equal to two. Maximum default default points is two. Again, you can change the points here. Again you can specify 3 or 4 as per the requirement. Then next one content. Again you have single line text and also multiple line text. Again you have block text. You have the block. Again multiple already know. Again you can see the blocks. Again you have different types of blocks here. Again you have different types of blocks. Just to select user blocks. Mm. Currently no blocks. First you can create one block here. Now I am going to design text. Again this is a long process. Now I am going to apply the block, B for block, specify name, select object, use object. Specify the pick point. This is our pick point. Just okay. Block creation is over. Again, format multi line style. Multi ladder style. Modify. Again, content type. Directly you can design the multiple text or otherwise block. Again, scale factor. Just open the by block. Mm, this is the color of the block this representation now block user block now this is my previous design block just okay okay just okay here set current close then again you can design MLD okay that is about the block option again format Again, you can see the connection here. Now I am going to set it to multiple text. Again, same thing, text style and everything here. Now, text style, standard style. Then next one is the, first you can change the color of the text, red color. Now, later color changes to green. Mm. Now, see here. Now, you can see the alignment here. Currently, text angle. Currently, 
keep hard count now changes to l i am always right reading always keep hard count next this one is the text height always left just try and frame around the text then next one is the horizontal attachment now horizontal attachment is middle of the top line top of the top line now see here attachment top of the top line middle of the top line next uh, bottom of the top line middle of the text different different possibilities okay underline all those things just be highlight this one now underline condition okay this to okay set current close now i am going to design on my mld underline condition okay just try multi multi layer style MLS command is MLS multi layer style MLS multi layer style MLS brackets you can create new style or modify the existing style you can create you can create new style or modify the existing style set all the requirements okay set all the required settings 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 okay set current close set current close that is about the format toolbar again this picture is related to 3d i will explain in 3d next one then next one is the shortcuts and functional keys shortcuts and functional keys shortcuts and functional keys shortcuts and functional keys First one, control N, just like that. Control O, not zero. Control O, open. Control A, select all. Control Z, undo. Control Y, redo. Next one is the Control Zero. Control Zero is the full screen.
control one properties next control two design center control two design center control three tool palettes control three tool palettes control two is the design center control three is the tool palettes control four sheet set manager control four sheet set manager control four sheet set manager next control six db connect control six db connect control six db connect next control seven markup set manager markup set manager control seven markup set manager control eight calculator control eight calculator control nine command line on off control nine command line on off next write down the functional keys control line is the shortcut next one is the functional keys next one is the functional keys f1 help Just wait. This is the object snap. F three is the object snap. F three is the object snap. Next one. One more thing. Oh, okay. Right now. to F12 What is the first one? Control. Control in. Just to control. Then what happened? Just open the new file. Just open. Simple thing. Control. And enter. Open the new file. 
again same thing present in five new first time or otherwise now this is the standard now this is the now this is the standard toolbar okay same thing first one is the click new open the new file again you can see one command here startup again every time now this is the general opening again this is the general opening after opening the page you can set units limits again you can open the page without settings without directly you can open the page without settings after opening the page you can set the settings again you have one command command is the s t a r t start up start up directly you can open the page with settings directly you can open the page with settings just start start up again 0 1 start up 0 means off condition start up 1 means on condition just i am going to change the value 1 the default one is the 0 again i am going to change this to start up 1 here just enter again i am going to open the new file now this time what happened what happened here now you can open the new page with settings with some drawing settings with some drawing settings again we have different format first one is the again you can set settings from start from scratch next one is the use a template next one is the use wizard now i am going to use wizard you can select any one of them okay again you can specify everything here now i am going to use advanced setup and quick setup now i am going to advanced means each and every step quick means only limits and units only now i am going to use the advanced setup just okay first one units now i am going to use the units decimal okay again you can specify the precision value next angle angle you can use decimal degrees again precision of the angle next angle measurement you can specify angle always with respect to east to north where is the angle starting again east 0 degrees 0 degrees with respect to clock 3 o'clock now see here 12 o'clock 3 o'clock and 6 and 9 again the measuring the odd again measuring angles defaultly start from 3 o'clock direction okay from 3 o'clock onward next one is the angle, angle direction counter clockwise or clockwise same thing present on un units also just un enter and that thing will be present here again same next one is the area, area is nothing but limits upper limit and lower limit width of the and length okay just finish that is the opening then again you can act activate the grid okay again control n again next one is the start from scratch again you can imperial or metric imperial or metric metric means metrical millimeter format again imperial non feet format feet and inches just okay now i am going to open the metric form direct opening without setting then again next control n again use visual again the software the software having different different types of templates templates is nothing but sheet sets different types of sheet settings directly you can select any one of them just okay then next one same thing you can use you can use always use a wizard now i am going to see the quick setup just directly you can specify units and area by using quick setup you can specify units and area by using advanced setup you can set everything that is start up okay just start up start up Con main heading is the control n new control n new control n new then next one start up start up zero means start up zero means uh, uh, open the page without settings open the page without settings okay just brackets open new page open new file open new file without settings open new file without settings next one start up one means that means start up enter specify the value one enter 
ओके ओपन फाइल ओपन न्यू फाइल विथ स्टार्ट अप दैट मीन स्टार्टिंग वन वर्स यू कैन सेट द सेटिंग ओके ओके देन नेक्स्ट वन अगेन नाउ अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई द कंट्रोल एंड व्हाट हैपेंड दिस इज द स्टार्ट अप सेटिंग आई कैन ओपन द पेज बाय यूजिंग स्टार्ट अप सेटिंग अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई द स्टार्ट अप अगेन यू कैन स्पेसिफाई वैल्यू Zero enter. That means up without settings. I can open the new file free from the settings. I can select the template. Open. Okay. That is about the. Then next one is the control. Control O means open. By using open, you can open the already existing saved files. Control O. Okay. Just open the already existing files. Just open the already existing file. Then next one. I can see here. Just press. Now see here. Again, I am going to apply control. Whoa! What happened? Enter. Name of the drawing to open. Again, we have one more setting. Same in the format of start up. Again, the command is the file file dia. Okay, file dia. That means again file dia zero or one zero or one zero means. Now see here. Just I am going to set one. Again, control O. What happened? Dialog box format. File dia one means file dia one means dialog box open condition with respect to with respect to open condition with respect to dialog box format. Just again file dia file dia changes to zero. Zero means again you can apply the control zero. What happened? You can specify the name of the drawing. You can specify the name of the drawing. Now this is nothing but through command opening. Through command opening. First one is the direct opening. Okay, by using dialog box through. Now this is the command opening of the already saving files. First one is the through dialog box opening. Okay, just try. Control O. Main heading is the control O. Again, these two are the important. Okay, file there. File F I L E D I A. File there. File there zero means what? Open the file through command method. Open the file through command method. That means you can specify the name of the file. Next so file dia one. One means open the file. Open the existing file through dialog box. Through dialog box. Through dialog box. Now next one. What is the next one? Control S. Control S for save. Next one. Control C here. Control S. Again file. Changes to one. Okay. Next one is the control S. Save condition. Then next one is the simple thing. Control S, save. Then before going to apply save button, you can specify the password saving. Okay. Then next one is the 
control plus shift plus s control plus shift plus s save as what is the difference between save and save as what is the difference between okay save means i can see here just i am going to open the just i am going to open already saving file just i am going to open already saved file then again i am going to apply control s means just i am going to done some modification just i am going to create some modification directly i am going to apply the control s means control s means save same saving to same file again you can apply control shift plus s save as that means you can specify new path okay that is save and save as next one control key control key means quit just quit the software just no just you can close the entire process then again next control p for printing purpose just 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 i am going to design something here okay now i am going to apply the control p p for printer again currently printer setting is non condition just i am going to convert dwg to pdf format Just select this one. Again, you can paper size. You can specify the paper size. Printing paper size. Okay. Now I am going to set a four paper. Again, plot area. Plot area is nothing but how much area to be print. Now currently, display. Dis display means all thing present in the display. You can print the entire thing present in the display. Or otherwise, you can set. Or otherwise, you can set extend limits window. Now I am going to select the window. Just I am going to drag the within the window location. Just okay. Specify the saving path. Save. Okay. Just we can apply the printing here. Then next one. Just I done. Control P printing. Control P print. Control P, print. Set printer settings. Specify the printer setting. And specify the paper size. And specify the plot area. Okay. Just okay. Just okay. That is about the. Thing. Next one is the. Control E for. Control E for select all. Again, next one is the. Control. Control Z for undo. Control Y. Next one. Control zero means. Now see here. Control zero, full screen. Then next one. Now see here, control zero, full screen on off. Full screen, control zero. Currently, full screen is on condition, off, on. Full screen on and off. Then next one. Control one, control one is the properties. properties. This is the important. Control zero. Mm, sorry. Now I am going to design one circle. Now I am going to design hundred diameter circle. Now I am going to design one. Hundred diameter circuit. Just I am going to select the center point. Directly I am going to select the other point. But I am not mention hundred radius here. I am not mention here hundred radius. Then after completion of the design, simply you can double click on the simply you can double click on the selected geometry. Again, this is nothing but properties of properties of the selected geometry. This dialog box is nothing but properties of the selected geometry. Okay, same thing. Control one. Control one is nothing but properties dialog box. Currently selection is no selection. Just now I am going to select this one. The entire display is nothing but properties of the existing point. Existing point. Again property of the circle. Color is the by layer color. Layer layer name is the zero. 
line type and type pin then again you can see here again what is the radius value 732 my requirement is 100 radius just enter again you can modify the comment or otherwise you can directly open control 1 control 1 property shortcut or otherwise simply you can double click on the object simply double click on the object again you can change here now i'm going to change the diameter 400 again change the diameter 250 any value any pin okay that is about the properties next one control 2 is the design center now see here just add on down control 2 design center now this is the design center just add on design center having design center having design center having some user defined features some user defined features nothing but brackets primitives some user defined features in brackets primitives primitives okay now see here now again all are the different types of primitives already existing already existing design now just write down the opening path for this one just write down c drive program file autodesk this is the path for opening this is the path for opening design center again why it's taking c drive means i'm going to install the software in c drive okay just write down this path program files autodesk c program files autodesk autocad 2013 sample uns enus enus design center enus design center just type in up to design center Some of the system it is under closed condition. Currently it is under open condition. Some of the systems it is under closed condition. Then then it then it helpful. Then it is helpful. Then this path is helpful for opening the design center. Now simple thing here. See here. Currently all are under open condition. Just I am going to close this one. What happened? Just I am going to close this one. Now no design center just you can open in this location now after sample open the ENUS after ENUS you can select the design center again see here with respect to different branches different different this is the different features now this is the analog integrated circuit drawing just I am going to open this one open the block again all are the different types of all are different types of block all are different types of existing primitives existing primitives depend upon the requirement just you can double click same thing insert operation just okay specify the new location now see here okay again same in this format now this is nothing but integrated circuit board for electrical purpose now next one autocad textiles next one is the basic electronics different types of symbolic representations then coming to now civil home face planner just open the blocks all are the different types of primitive just to entire thing scale factor is very high okay after completion of the plan after completion of one 2d plan you can set everything dining table chairs and sofa set everything here just you can use this one bed Then again, different different format. Desk. Then next, chair. Okay. That is about design center. Just try that. Just a control two.
is the center. Select your required block files. Select required block files. Double click. Select your required blocks files. Block files. Block files. Select your required block files. Double click on the selected item. Double click on the selected item. Just OK. OK. Specify the location for placing. 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 That is about the design center. Then next one. Control 3 is the tool palettes. All in the format of tool palettes. Control 3. Simple, simple design. Now, this is the tool palettes. Now, see here. First one is the imperial. Imperial samples. This is the metric sample. Imperial means this is in the format of inches. This is in the format of millimeters. millimeters. Okay. Same electrical, civil, structural, fasteners. Then again, sorry, hatches. And again, this one is the table. Now see here. Now I am going to use the civil. Okay, different types of limits and everything. Now this is the parking imperial. Simple thing. Just you can represent the parking area directly. One more thing. Just you can represent. Okay. Then again, field limits. Then annotation architecture. Again, I am going to represent three symbol, vehicle symbols. Then next, mm, road. Where is the road? Civil. Which one is civil? Okay, road intersection. Metric format. This is very high. Just you can double click on this one. Again, this is the edit block. Again, first you can create this is in the format of block. Again, all are the default block. Just okay. Road intersection. Again, this is nothing but adding of the dynamic block. Again, you can any further editing purpose. Further editing purpose. You can change the dimensions and everything here. The next one, same thing. We don't know the hatch command. Directly you can select the hatch operation. Directly, directly you can use the symbolic representation here. Again, we can use different types of table also. Okay, that is about the tool palettes. So the next one. Control four. Control four is the. Okay, just I'm closing here. Next class I will explain the remaining. Thing.